If you feel stuck or like you're just in a rut in life right now, this is your sign. So I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, you're not feeling or living your best possible life. Even by watching this, you're actively taking steps to improve and grow. I'm so proud of you. Here's a hug. You want a hug? Hug. Here are some ways that you can stop being so lazy and unmotivated and procrastinating and just improve your life. Now, what I want you guys to do right now is close your eyes and imagine you're in a grass field and you've dug a hole. It's really deep and you're inside this hole. So now if I were to say get out of that hole. Your first instinct would be to... I bet you didn't say keep digging. You're not gonna keep digging because guess what? You're gonna be even further from getting out of the ground and then you're just gonna be stuck in this hole in the ground. Do you want that? No, you don't. So babe, why are you doing that with yourself? Stop it. Stop pressing that internalized snooze button on your life. One of the most harmful things you can do is what most people love, the snooze button. Nobody ever wants to just get out of their warm, cozy bed and go to school or work. Just five more minutes, that's what everybody says, right? But hi. I'm here to tell you in the nicest way possible, my dude, stop that. There's many little things you can do to like stop being lazy and procrastinating everything. Like don't listen to your own excuses. You just make up these excuses to make yourself feel better about not actually doing the work. And trust me, I know that because, oh, I do the same thing. For example, I know a big one with me is about cleaning my room. So if I have to like clean my room and I'm laying in bed watching TikTok, I'm like, oh, I'll do that later. Mm, internalized snooze button. And then you keep pressing it and you're like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna procrastinate. Procrastination is like the root of laziness, I believe. If you really take a moment to like think about the excuse you just gave yourself, you will realize how dumb your excuses are, I promise you. You can really go to the root of that excuse. Now this is one you guys aren't gonna wanna hear because we all do it. It's my excuse formula to find like the core root of the problem. So here's the formula. Take your excuse and ask yourself why. And you're probably gonna come up with an excuse for the why. So then this starts over. Take your new excuse, why? Until you have no more excuses left. And then that is the root of your problem. Okay, now I'm gonna do this with an example from my personal life. This happens way too much more than I wanna even admit. Here's my excuse. I'm too tired. Why? Why am I too tired? Oh, because I stayed up too late. Why did I stay up too late? I was watching TikTok. Why was I watching TikTok? And then I can't think of a reason. So see, then that's my core problem is that I need to put the phone down and go to sleep. Now for this to work, you have to be brutally honest with yourself and it could even take like 10 whys to get to the root of the problem, but just keep going and be honest with yourself. In conclusion, don't listen to your own excuses. I've got a squish miller. Surround yourself with people who inspire you and you want to be more like. This just works on its own, obviously. And you know, there's that quote, like you're like the three people you spend the most time with. So make those good people. Make those people who inspire you make them people who encourage you to work harder to do more to follow your dreams i want us to take a moment and think who are the three people you spend the most time with <laughs> Okay, did you think about it? Now answer this. Do those three people inspire you? Or what are the effect those people have on you? Is it positive or negative? If you answered negative, it's time to cut those relationships off because they are not benefiting you. Just remember, words are so powerful and what you say is what you get. It's just so powerful. Don't claim to be lazy. Like, we need to stop saying that. I'm so lazy, I'm not actually. I'm so this, I'm so that. Stop. You're claiming those words and that's going to be your reality. So instead, switch that out with, I'm so productive. I'm so hardworking. We don't have time to give those negative thoughts power or space in our minds. We just gotta kick them out right when they enter. Everyone has a lot going on in their lives and everyone has stuff you don't see behind closed doors. If you woke up today, I'm proud of you. You got out of bed, I'm proud of you. It's the little steps and you're doing amazing. Just the fact you're even watching this video makes me so happy because you're working to improve yourself. And just please be nice to yourself. You deserve it. This is a quote that really just hit me hard. Would you be friends with someone if they talked to you the way you talk to yourself? Really let that sit in because you wouldn't keep that toxic person in your life. Would you let somebody say the things you say to yourself to your best friend or someone you love the absolute most? No, because they're mean and hurtful and not true. So don't say those things to yourself. Be nice to yourself. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. It's never too late to start improving and growing. No matter your age, life hasn't passed you by. You still have so much life to live that is going to be so great and so beautiful. There's so many beautiful, amazing people you haven't met yet. There's so many experiences waiting for you. So let's get up together and stop making excuses because the harshest reality is that you are never going to feel like it. So stop waiting for that perfect moment. Stop digging your hole and get out of it. I love you all so much. Bye.